Hello everyone, I'm Revolutionary Leader Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in China. Of course, playing as the best nation, the true successor to the Chinese nation, the left, Kuomintang. So, last time we finished off those evil bastards from the Shang Qing Tian Guo, and we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty darn nice. We only have 40 factories, so be it. Whatever. We have a great stockpile of supplies, but now we must consider the future of China. Our next move, really. So, we can take a couple decisions to integrate some more provinces. That's cool and all, but that lowers my daily political power gain, and I can use my political power for probably some other stuff, perhaps? I could start focusing more on the Navy. You know what? I can support the CSA. We should support our brothers and sisters in America fighting to break their chains. Even though I don't have high hopes for these fellas, we have been blessed from the hard workers of China. So, I think we should bless others with our same prosperity. So, we'll give them guns. That being said, we're currently doing the first repatriated Congress of the KMT. We have some free civilian factories. Awesome. And I want a massive, massive war, war machine. Which means we're going to need a huge industrial base. A massive industrial base. So, just so many civilian factories, just because right now, with military factories, we're doing okay. We really are doing okay. And besides, we can trade away civilian factories for goods that we will need in the future, because China, in, to some degree, isn't super resource rich. So, call to convene the National Congress. Many prominent members of the party have convened to discuss all matters of the state and organize the Kuomintang into a fully-fledged government. The foundation for the Congress will be the 1924 National Congress, which was set up to organize a party into an official government. Subjects varying from reflection of past events to the status of syndicalist elements in our party will be discussed in length. That being said, I will go ahead and spend a little bit of political power. I mean, I could spend it on volunteer only. We really don't have any ministers, so I want to focus maybe a little bit more on our Navy. Not more resources to the Navy. That's a waste of time. Naval advisor? That sounds good. Hire foreign naval designer for more naval XP so I can start editing ships once we can. That sounds good. D Dominion is victory in South Africa. Also, I'm. I, what we should know is about the Chinese factions is that... I've already kind of looked at this. I'm the leader. East Turkestan doesn't care... Of course, Easter. Oh, it's a little laggy. Dutch Revolution. Good. They should be in revolution. Rebel against imperialists. But anyways, East Turkestan doesn't get, care. They're in a civil war. or Not civil war. They're just fighting the Kumul Khanate. The Fengxian government, well, they're popular the Japanese, basically. Liangguang People's Government actually is aligned with us, which is awesome. And we do own a chunk over here, which is great. Hunan Clique is unaligned. We might be able to convince them to join us. That would be very cool. Mongolia is a puppet of Maklik. Beijing is Beijing. Sichuan is aligned itself with Beijing, which we've established in the last episode. But Kumal Khanate doesn't care. Tibet doesn't care. But Maklik is aligned with us. They have the Zinning Civilian Administration with Mongolia as their puppet. So I can have both those as an ally, and perhaps... Uh, of course, we have ourselves down here. But if, And Southern China, really Southern China. But Hunan Klik, I don't know. We can't get military access through the lands. But if I improve relations, perhaps, maybe they'll like us a little bit more. I mean, yeah, we only get now 0.77 a day. Uh oh, KMT votes on adopting official history of the first northern expedition. After much buildup, the Revolutionary Army marched north against the Zili in an effort to unify the country, but this failed. <clears throat> Many points have been brought up, such as the KMT lacking the people's support or intervention from foreign powers, specifically Germany. We should decide on of these arguments which one is more compelling to use as a root cause for the failure to unify the country. Now, this is going to be important, and I know what I said in the past couple episodes about which direction I want to take. I don't really care at this point. I just want to see what I can do. Because I like the idea of having a unitary government. That sounds like fun. Yeah, ethnic autonomous regions is nice. That's probably more libertarian, Marxist, whatever. But, maybe I'm wrong. All China National Labor Syndicate sounds like fun. But so does urban syndicalists. Local democratic governments. Sounds like fun. Division and defense on core territory. More daily political power. I can't promise you anything. So, either we go with social democracy and social liberalism, or radical socialism, imperialists and traitors, or lack of support from the population. And that one is social democracy. I'm kind of feeling that social democracy just a little bit more. 
Yeah, social liberalism, it's not enough for me. I need more. I need more than just social liberal liberalism. Oh, what the hell? Okay, uh, I mean, I'm glad I moved my soldiers this way. I wasn't planning on this war to come by this fast, but, uh... Alright. Ah, mechanical computing, awesome. Let's get some more research speed. They're already trying to move in our lands, so be it. We just have to make sure we... Oh, the Nash... Oh, the Batavian coming, cool. The second Northern Expedition. China Civil War has reached a turning point as the left KMT has officially declared... No, 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 no. I am in a defense war. They declared war on me. This is the press misrepresenting us. This is literal fake news. The last expedition occurred a decade ago with the aim to unify the country. However, this was not to be with the KMT gravely underestimating the German presence in the region. With no war now declared, the stage is set for a repeat of the previous expedition led by Chiang Kai-shek. With Germany preoccupied with European threats, it seems unlikely a German intervention will occur. What this means for China is unknown, which means these imperialist puppets, or really this Chinese pretender, they're going to go bye-bye. Yeah, that's quite literally fake news. A question of ethnic autonomy. Much of China outside the 18 provinces has effectively become independent, and there are many ethnic separatist movements. Our goal is to unite all the territory of the old Qing back into a single Chinese state or nation. Would the adoption of federalized ethnic zones inside of Greater China allow for the security and allegiance of non-Han people? Uh... Hmm. Well... I do like this one. Social democracy and syndicalism. Ooh, radical socialism. I like the radical socialism, but I really, like I said, I don't care for social liberalism. <sighs> I just, we'll do it. I don't know, I don't know what, what, what we're going to end up looking like, but that's okay. Um, how strong is the Beijing government? These corrupt individuals. I mean, they're already an illegitimate republic. Like, come on, man. Oh, no, that's not good, though. Oh, boy. Oh, they have a support artillery, too? Ooh, baby, that's not good. Um, we're making Bu Bing. Xi Division, which are pretty decent, to be honest with you. Uh, we don't have a ton of support equipment. I will throw on some recon, though. I will ruin my supply. I don't mind doing that. And... Oh, we didn't ruin it. The question is syndicalist parties. The KMT's project program for developing China plans that only the KMT will be allowed to exist as a full political party for the period of political tutelage. As a precondition of syndicalist A... We have made exemptions for the Chinese Syndicalist Party and several other minor urban syndicalist groups. Should the Syndicalist Parties be given an exception to the ban on public recruitment in the realm of organizing urban labor? No. Must extend. Yes. Chinese labor should be able to choose to join syndicalist aligned unions. I mean, I love radical socialism. Let's try this. I know this is probably screwing me up quite a bit. Oh my goodness, we're becoming more... Min Quan populists versus radical socialists, whatever, you know. We're going to be left no matter what, but it might not be as left as you guys might like. Cool. Lin, do you have anything? No. Does our field marshal? No. That's okay. Now, this is an area that I have to kill off. Most definitely. But, oh, I'm attacking with militia divisions. That's not good. I'd rather not. So, really, we're going to hold our place for as long as we can. You can probably move in, actually. Don't let them move. If you guys could win... I, I don't even need you to win. I just want you to hold for now. Good. Hold. So, status of Wampoa Academy. The Wampoa Academy is long gone. However, many in our government and military wish to see it brought back. It is hard to disagree with the point as our army is woefully behind many of our competitors. If we bring it back, we can begin to once again have a strong army which will make our victory over China all but assured. With all the put to rest, we have two questions. Huh. Do we either restore it as it was before or give it a modern touch as warfare has changed since the time of the expedition? Restore the academy. Ooh, remove insurgent army. Enable some extra military ministers. That's really good. Um... Military affairs campaign. Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Restore the academia. A new ac academy. I need a new academy. We can't just be, you know, stuck in the past. We must look to the future. And actually, I'm going to move you down here. Because I don't like I don't like what's going on right there. Losses thus far. 1,000 versus... Well, they've actually suffered far less. Unfortunate. Come on, get, give me more divisions. I need more divisions out now. You know what? 
megaton divisions in the direction of the NRA with our consolidation over southern China, several ideas of how to conduct warfare have emerged. Two ideas have emerged as most prominent, with the first being the possibility of using our vast manpower as our strength. This isn't particularly unique among the armies in China, however, there's nothing wrong with using a reliable method. The second idea is a modernization of our armies, which will ensure that when it comes to fighting, our soldiers will be far superior compared to the enemy. What shall we go with? Modernization or manpower? Modernization. I have to go with modernization. It's just, I cannot go not modernization. We must modernize. Improved infantry equipment. Good. Let's grab some guns. Old yellow ox and the mortars. Good. Oh, did they, they just literally abandoned the line. Sweet. Losses. 3,000 versus 1,000. Oh, oh god, I'm going to lose all of this. Oh, a reflection of previous leaders. We can all agree that both Sun Yat-sen and Chiang Kai-shek did a lot for the KMT. Where it is up for interpretation is whether these figures were good for China. Of course, Sun Yat-sen had many amazing qualities, however. He seemed desperate to hold on to power. This could also be interpreted as him trying to make sure that the KMT survived. Chiang Kai-shek is up for debate as he did a lot for the military. However, he also oversaw the disaster of the Northern Expedition. They are both a father and son of China. Both were good for China, but perhaps we could downplay how much. Oh, boy. Mm. The Republic of China has been... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, this, this sounds like this could hurt me, but maybe not. The Shangxi clique exists. And the Shangxi... Oh, that's... At least we don't have to do that. Oh, you know what? They're not great, but we can always revise history. Yeah, we'll revise history. Revisionist history has never hurt anyone before. Rally? Well, we already have a pretty good amount of stuff. Please give me one moment. No one's attacked me so far. That's good. Let our guys get a little bit more reorganized. They probably have way more divisions than we do. We have like 27. Yeah, they have probably more than... Report on the Jiang Fu government. Song Qingling has been the acting governor of Fujian province and the Jiang Fu zone for much of the last 10 years. Her administration has, though, created, through creating a form of locally run one party democracy, has created an alternative vision for how the national revolution can be done that opposes the top down nature of the Wang Jingwei program. Minxing faction members criticize the idea of the Jiang Fu program of being expanded to all of China as being impractical, but. Its implementation has proven economically and military successful and very popular with the Fujian province locals. Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Social democracy, I guess, for now. I'm looking for points where I can exploit the, the line, perhaps. God dang it, I'm going to lose, like, a lot of my factories because of that. Plan Western Expedition. Prepare for war. Alright, well, at least we're done with that. I need to go ahead and restore the academy because I need to get more army XP. So, the old military academy... And, oh, hold on. And Wampoa was officially disestablished after the German intervention in China, occupying Guangdong province in 1925, but its staff, records, and other resources all survived and are currently spread across the world. We are now in a position to refound the Republic of China Military Academy and begin training our officer corps independent of other powers. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that prepare for war. Definitely don't want to do that. I definitely want that extra research lab, but we'll prepare the academy. I need as much army XP as possible. That's unfortunate. I'm going to lose quite a few things here. Civilian factory... Oh, like... Uh, it's, it's, it could be worse. So, review of the five war, war of the five provinces. A review of the current status of the National Liberation Zone and its recent expansion out of Jiang Fu after the last campaign has been drafted by the NRA. The general consistent, consensus of all involved advises caution in moving north against Azili too soon. A majority of the NRA's old guard favors focusing on reunifying southern China before daring to cross the Huai. But the young guard and their allies in the civilian KMT, such as Zhu and Lai, advise an opportunistic stance towards an inevitable war between the Zili clique and itself or the Feng Xing. Um, let's see, what do we get? Chief of Army. That's okay, it's not great. Not bad. We, we remove insurgent army and get extra military ministers anyways. Opportunism. Oh, you know me. If you follow me, follow this channel at all, you know I love supply consumption, or less supply consumption, and we get more defense. We get the Chen Gang. The Chen Gang! Yeah, son, the Chen Gang. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I need more regular divisions. Oh, oh, there's quite a bit of lag. What's going on? Nash. Okay, this doesn't sound like the Dutch. The Germans? The, the Dutch, I mean? I mean... Henry? I've never seen you. Who are you? Henry. Oh, of course, then you are a puppet of, uh... The German Empire. God dang, I wish I didn't lose all those factories. This only makes Beijing stronger, which sucks. So, as a result, I'm going to have to attack, maybe. 
If I can kick him out, kick him out that way. Oh, you guys are not doing anything. Ooh. Yeah, move in. They want to take my territory? I'll take their territory. Can you attack that way too? No. Come over here. Yeah, attacking over rivers is a bad idea, but whatever. Ah, the election of the new KMT Central Committee. So, after a series of debates d during the Congress of Min, the Min Kwan faction has secured a majority and has taken over the Kuomintang, Kuomintang to serve as the leaders of the Republic. We shall begin to implement the many reforms that were proposed to modernize our nation into a force that can unify this broken country. So, I apologize if we no longer have. We have a Song Waifu here. Okay. Right! She was the third and final wife of Dr. Sun Yat sen. Despite her lack of initial credentials aside from marriage ties, she has proven herself to be an inspirational leader to the insurgent zone has become the head of the pro-democratization Min Kwan faction. Okay, cool. The Dai River. Negotiate. Oh man, if they these guys could go to war with Beijing right now, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I, I doubt they will though. From Beijing to the Begonia Leaf. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're really winning here yet. And we might not. These guys, I mean, they're not that great, honestly. Good, keep moving up, and keep moving up, and I'll make the motion move that way. So, uh oh. Sun Fo splits the Min Kwan faction. The first party congress of the KMT ended with the Min Kwan faction overtaking the Min Shang faction as leaders of the KMT after the Congress. The right wing of the Min Kwan faction, led by Sun Fo, discussed with the left wing of the Min Kwan faction and their desire to become their own individual faction. Although Song Qingling tries to persuade them to stay in Min Kwan faction, Sun Fo and his followers have decided to leave. It seems that if the Min Kwan faction calls for an election, Sun Fo and his followers will participate as an independent faction. No, I said I didn't want social liberalism. No. No. Ah, I should have went further left. Should have went further left wing. Well, let's destroy that division if we can. Oh, they're attacking me over here. Good, good, good. Uruguay wins the World Cup. Well, we don't have time for silly things as cups and soccer. Oh, good. That. Oh, nice. We made an encirclement. Great. Great job, guys. You guys hold. Don't leave your position. So, we have, cho we have a choice between two prominent members of the party to stand up as head of the government. The first is the only living son of Chiang Kai-shek, Chiang Ching Kuo, who is already more than equipped to take on the job. The second is the newcomer, Feng Yu Xiang, who is more left than Chiang Ching Kuo due to her years of study in the Commune of France. If we wish to follow the Commune of France form government more closely, she will be an excellent choice. Um, I like both, because he's just a little, more, a little bit more historical. Uh, at least regarding this game, because we have, you know, Chiang Kai-shek. But then we have Fang. Hmm. Do we want more women representation? Hmm. Do we want to follow the Commune of France's uh, path? Well, honestly, they didn't really help us at all. Like, they didn't do anything for us. But they, what government are they right now? They are syndicalist. Oh, man, they really are attacking me like crazy now. You know what? We'll, we'll honor the guy's son for now. Can, can I do anything else here? Negotiate. Oh my god, yes. Yes, can I negotiate with them? And I do have some good old chi left Chinese coffee here, so. With the collapse of the League of Eight Provinces, southern China has been dropped into a total anarchy. Any alliances between a warlord cliques or rebel government are fragile, but they could be necessarily changed in order to starve, stave off one threat so we can focus on another. Yes! Please, you are aligned with me. Yes, please. And how are we doing here? Are we doing okay? We're winning so far. We're winning in most locations. We even made an encirclement, which is honestly really great. Um, I can't see all the enemy divisions. Oh, wait. I guess we can. What, what happened to their divisions? Why they... Okay, well, I'm not going to question why they leave. So the end of the first repatriated Congress. Now that the Congress, the Congress has officially concluded, we must look to reclaiming China for the people. We have a series of reconstruction plans in mind to help prepare our industry to unify China as well as the reforms proposed at the Congress to complete. We have quite the task ahead of us, though, but we must succeed very, very well. Good. Yes, the Beijing government has declared war on the Beijing government. You know what? I don't want to spend too much political power on this, but we'll do some... Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. The fifth Zili Fengjing War. Tank designers, ship designers, aircraft. Oh, artillery research. Artillery research speed. I can make more artillery. Mechanized motorized. That's okay. What about industry? <gasps> oh, I can build stuff faster. Oh my goodness, yes. I'm going to go with the CFHI. That sounds so good. And give me just one moment 
here. My cat wants to claw my door really, really badly. Oh, did they actually push us back? That's not cool. That's really not cool. Awesome, so we have a reply from Lian Guang. KMT and Lin Guang have agreed to work with us and have pledged their loyalty to the Central Committee. With this victory of diplomacy, our place in China has grown further, increasing our chances of securing China for the Kuomintang. Oh, and there goes... them. Oh. Oh, dear God. Um, that might not have actually been a good idea. I thought I would get them as a puppet first. Uh... Yeah, I really thought I was going to get them as a puppet first. So, I need to pull out another army real quick. And I need you to hold at a checkpoint. Like... There. I want to keep the, the mountains defended. And you'll be led by someone great. An infantry leader. Who's an ambusher? Lu Binghui. Yes. I'll put you under a new, new field marshal as well. Oh, we got so many field marshals. This is awesome. Entrenchment speed. Equipment capture ratio gain. I kind of like that for playing when you play as a nation that doesn't have a lot of stuff. Jin Handing looks pretty good as well, but I'm not going to choose him because we can always get infantry expert later. Oh, military factory is good. Oh my god. Oh, I need so many guns. Okay, well. Are you okay, Bink? I hope you're okay, Bink. Oh my goodness. Great. So good luck, guys. Good luck. Um, Germany have declared war on the national government of Lithuania. Yeah, Germany's straight up not having a good time. And you know what? That's okay with all of us. That's okay with me, okay with you. Go ahead and defend this territory. I know we won't be able to really hold it. The revolt and the Reichsback followed bait. Wow. Yeah, they really bit off way more than they could chew in the Beijing government. Wow. Now, between me and Beijing government, now they'll both definitely get Beijing. I won't be unfair and not give them Beijing. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of nice. If you could take that province and circle two more soldiers, that'd be great. So far, I've only con I've actually contributed 70%. I'm halfway to capitulation. Wow. Okay, well, whatever. And... Can we say encirclement, please? And... Come on. You should be there by now. There you go. I want you guys to do a very tiny push. Alright, so when the war ends, Sichuan is not a major power. I'm obviously going to take all of Sichuan, even though I probably don't even really deserve it. I'll just take it all just because that just makes sense. But I'll give the Beijing government a good chunk of the Beijing government. Cool. Next up. I like this. I need more army XP gain. Oh, prioritize manpower. We already said no to that. We want prioritize modernization. We get more leader experience gain, which is nice. Dare to die core. There's so many good things I want to do, man. So many good things. Revive the industry. I need that research slot, but this kind of takes priority right now. So, with the expansion of the NRA into multiple branches and multiple front regions, a new central command overseeing all theaters of the revolution must be established. Though a formality, this commission should ensure that all decision makers are on the same page and know our capabilities. Good. Good. Really good. Now, I know we don't have guns. Oh, never mind. We do have guns. We have a lot of guns. Holy cow. If that's the case, come down there. You guys come down here. Good. So, the premiere of Mulan Chong Jun. Today saw the premiere of one of the first feature films created under Nationalist China's rule, directed by Bu Wan Kang, and with Young Chen Chun Yun Cheng playing the lead, Mulan Kong Jun, or Mulan Jun's army, as a historical period drama based on the legend of Hua Mulan, who is in a show of filial piety and joins the army in her father's place to fight off invading nomads. Hailing traditional virtues of honor and valor, the film was an immediate success and has raised patriotic feeling throughout the country, along with an inevitable flood of popular comparisons between Hua Mulan and Sung Qingling. Perfect. Actually, I'm playing social democracy. Hmm. I, that just kind of dawned on me. I'm playing social democracy. I think I played... Did I play social democracy? My free right campaign is... As a... Uh, Huey Long. I don't think I'm social democrat. Social democracy. Almost the same thing. Whatever. Who cares? Cool. Oh, yeah. They're definitely taking more. 
but they are definitely getting lower and lower. Have they started attacking me yet? No, you guys look pretty good. The Mushroom Kingdom has capitulated. Awesome. Manpower is looking pretty good. Not too bad. Uh oh. Ireland has joined the Reich's Pact. Well, hello, Ireland. Don't come to China. I swear to God, you better not come to China. Get rid of those two divisions. I know they're very difficult, very tough. I don't really care. Are we actually winning here? We actually kind of are. Nice. How strong is the Feng Shui government? Not bad. The Year of Righteous Effort. David Disgruntled Army. The National Reclamation War. Wow, that's a lot of attack. But we must still keep in mind our defense is absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. Please keep killing these guys off. Get as much army XP as possible. I need to get rid of that penalty. Because we could get 20% more army XP if I didn't have that penalty. Which is really garbage. I'm kind of surprised they haven't attacked me here yet too much. But whatever. So be it. As long as they don't take Nanjing, that's really, really important. And there goes Lithuania. God. There's so much rebellion going Oh, Soviet Russia's still alive. There's so much rebellion going on in the Reich's Pact. Spain's still in a civil war. Um. Oh, Dona Adria Boond is here. Belgrade Pact is looking okay. Yeah, actually the Reich's Pact's looking pretty good. They got Sweden and Finland and all the Baltics still. Poland looks honestly, Poland doesn't look too bad after they rebelled themselves. Oh, oh the Pacific states aren't doing bad either. They're kind of branching out into Huey Long territory now. Federal government's still there. The CSA. The one game I play as a relatively left nation, the CSA doesn't do that great, and Huey Long is just going bonanzas for now. They might change. I mean, no one's really given up yet. Of course, the PSA is the weakest in terms of manpower, but other than that, I mean, manpower isn't everything. So, yeah. I'm probably just going to take a little portion of the Beijing government and give most of this to the Beijing government just because I'm taking all of Sichuan anyways. And then Hunan's going to be completely surrounded by us. Which will be great. Oh, Hunan. Oh, you! wow, you really like us. Yes. Can you please support my faction? Do the Budenization Society. Hunan, Hunan, please. No, come on, Hunan. I'm spending a lot of money trying to align you guys. Okay, now be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, let's see. 45. Oh, I don't like that. We need more work from us. The Fengshin government only got involved because it was, you know, easy for them. Because they, the Beijing government sent all their forces really against me, and then they had to divert soldiers away, which wasn't good for us. But whatever. Come on. Give me more XP. I don't even have a single ship, which we might want to start thinking about a little bit. But then again, we only have three research slots. I wish there was more things I could spend my political power on. But then again, we have ministers we need to get, so... Not really bad. Finish those guys off. Yeah, they're just flooding in. So I get all of this. And I know a lot of this actually already is my own territory. As long as I circle Hunan, I think that'd be okay. Ah, military fears commission. Great. And this would even help us even further. So the national revolution that we are fighting for is not just a series of military campaigns, but a social and political revolution. We must make sure that our officers make field decisions in accordance with the three principles of the people and our political goals. To this end, the party has assigned political commissars to military units both for education and Samnin, Sanmin ideology and to advise officers in political affairs. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this group was encircled. Awesome. Kill them off. Just go ahead and take them out. Good, we're 50-50, that's not bad. Come on, Beijing, give up. There's no way you can stand up against the tide from two sides. Oh, we're getting attacked here, good. Get rid of your front line. There you go. And then I... We'll see if I can align Hunan Clique. I don't know if I can, I probably can't. But whatever. Not bad. I want us to take this territory first, not these guys. Give me the port. What I want to do is maybe... I don't know if I'll be... A, I probably won't actually take over the river here. 
I think this is a Hawaii River, I think the game said. The Hawaii River. Oh, awesome. Let's continue army reform. That's extremely important to do for more defense. Um, and then we'll focus more on ministers as well. Actually, if anything, you guys just come down here and you just stay here. You'll get rid of that division faster. The more losses we take, the more war score we get. Because... Ahoy 4. Good. Redeploy the front line. There you go. It's because I don't want to guard against, you know, these... Oh, wow. They're, they're moving fast. Good. <clears throat> you should easily kill this division off. Of course, then again, they're getting quite a bit of supplies from Jing Zhu. Jing Zhu. Legislate freedoms. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Artillery stuff can wait just a little bit longer. Ship stuff, we are so far behind in everything. Oh my goodness. This is a more reinforced rate, though. Social Republic of Italy. Oh my gosh. Why did you... Well, that might have just kicked off the uh, Second Velt Krieg, perhaps, maybe? Oh, actually. Serbian Republic, you're looking pretty good right there. Fall of Kiev. And, oh, the, oh my, that's a big old Ottoman Empire. Nice. Come on, the Beijing government's got to give up soon. They have got to give up soon. Send another division in to help out. Come on, I'm at 51%. Awesome. I've lost only 41,000 compared to their 194. We've done over 100,000 things of casualties, which is pretty darn nice. Not going to lie. Help them out, help them out. These guys are dead. Awesome. Now, once again, reef on the front line. Oh, wait, never mind. We don't want to do that because we actually have to guard against Sijuan. Oh, Sijuan. I love your sauce. Actually, I don't remember your sauce too well, actually. I like Wuhan. is not that, at the time of this recording, kind of topical? Hmm. Now, as long as... Oh, wait, they actually annexed Rome. I didn't realize that. Oh, yep, they're... Okay, so, two Sicilies. I thought they were in the Reich's Pact. I guess not. Oh, no! Not the fall of Chicago! Why? Why? Jack Reed. John Jack Reed. Oh, how disappointing. I wasn't going to say they were the chosen ones, but... Come on, man. Really? Keep pushing in. Don't give up anytime soon. Keep pushing in. I know you're militia. I know you're kind of garbage. Actually, you are pretty garbage. Whatever. Doing pretty well, though. They're not attacking me down here, which makes sense for them. So be it. Come on. We need 14% more war score for them to lose 14% more of their victory points. Hmm. Come on, guys. Supplies, we need more support equipment. Guns are good. Artillery is good. And Army XP, we almost have no penalties there. Awesome. Up them out, and you guys go down this way. Just smash them. All but one, and then come down there. Good. Do not want to guard against tiles that are a waste of time. Okay, Japan declared one of the Dutch East Indies. Interesting. You could go that way. You could come down here as well. I will need to trade this army once this war is over. I want to make an encirclement here, though. And which I might be able to. You come here, you come here. That actually should be more than enough to destroy this super weak division. No, they took that tile. God dang it. You come here. You come here. I'm going to throw you right there. Awesome. Now, let's go back down here and do Revive China program. Without the Nationalist Party, there will be no new China. A vast program of extensive state planning and initiatives is necessary to bring China back up to the same level as the West. So then we can get another research slot, because that's going to be extremely necessary for our plans. Extremely. Come on, come on, come on. Throw them in, too. 
I need this tile taken care of. So I can destroy this other division. Ooh! Arsenal of party state, the Na Chinese National Revolution. After the disastrous failure of the Northern Expedition, the Kuomintang's internal unity literally and figuratively sped along ideological lines. While the subordinate right-wing faction found refuge with the southern warlords, the left campaign was reduced to an insurgency in southeast China and a government exile in Paris. The last ten years have seen few openings to reestablish a rival government, but the consensus is that the next attempt must fully embrace social revolution. They may have one last chance to realize Dr. Sun's vision. Yes, the arsenal of the party state sounds like a good idea to me. Monarchy restored to Greece. We don't care about imperialists and monarchists. They are against the people. Go ahead and do that. Destroy. And boom. Alright, I'm going to kind of monitor how much these guys take. Oh, they already took a lot. Um, I do want definitely all of Sage 1, though. I mean, it doesn't make sense for them to get any of this area. Cool. Let's see what else they take. You know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take all this, too. Uh, you know what? I'll split you right... Uh, that doesn't seem too fair. They did do quite a bit, so... There, that's pretty good. I took all this. I took a little bit more lands from here. And then they, they did take Beijing. But I'll give them the rest of this. That's only fair. There you go. Oh. There you go. And we're done. Awesome. Now we're not looking too bad. Yeah, I did take... Switch 1 didn't have a ton of provinces, but then... And again, they did take... They did take the huge city of Beijing. So I feel that's pretty... That's fairly balanced. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have taken that, but whatever. I don't really care. They did... They, they did take all of what was known as Shangzi. Even though I did take a good chunk of this stuff. Hmm. Maybe I was... I advantaged myself, or I gave myself too much of an advantage here. Oh, well. In time, they will all be under us. Assume national leadership by being the strongest faction capable of standing against foreign domination. We can begin to assert our leadership all over China and lead the nation, the nation against foreign aggression. I want to see what happens here. People might not like this. But then again, I don't really care. I want you guys to train immediately, and I want you all to guard against these bastards now. And then we'll call it an episode and see what happens. Cool. Very good. Because, honestly, who's... In the Chinese faction. I mean, obviously, the Fengxian government doesn't care. They're on the line. They're on the line. They're on puppet. But Maklik likes us, which is good. And they have the puppet of Mongolia. So that's actually really nice. Hunan. I would love Hunan. I'd love to vet the Uyghur people out there. Dividing the spoils of war. The Kuomintang has found itself to be, the vic to be victorious in the struggle against the enemy. However, the time has come to split up the spoils of war with the Fengxian. We could stay true to our word and split the line as agreed to. Or we could just take all of it. We will honor the deal. We're not... Uh, oh, okay. So they wanted that. Okay, well, fine. So be it. Whatever. That wasn't too bad. Honestly, if they took that, I don't mind taking this. But whatever. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. We have 77 factories. We did take all of Sejuan. I don't want to forget that. Uh, they have 28 military factories. Well, we have 25. That's pretty fair. We have about the same... I, have, I probably have more factories than them in total, but they have 10 more ships than us. Whatever. Cuba has joined the Reich's Pact. All right. And we have assumed leadership of the group. Now, um, actually, does anyone need to train? You guys are pretty good. You're all pretty... Uh oh Make sure you're all boobing. I like you all. No, hold on. No. no. You are actually that type of division, which is good. You come there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to convert you immediately to artillery and ruin how much support equipment we already have. Oh, never mind. And yes, I shouldn't be doing this right now with a deficit of, or not enough army XP for everything, but whatever. Doesn't matter. I need you to guard up there. I need you all to guard against Hunan Clique, perhaps? If we can't convince them to join us, then I will have to take them out. I will have to use force. Awesome. Build up their army a little bit more. Come to the north. How many more support equipment do we need? We actually lost quite a few guns. We're going to, we have quite a good amount of artillery. Support equipment's not bad either. I'm going to start converting, like, U3. Become even bigger artillery pieces. I need more. Computing machine, awesome. It's almost 1939. Let's grab some encryption. It doesn't take too long to do encryption. Kingdom of Greece join the Entente. Burma's there. Do we have our own faction yet? No, we do not. Oh, the Code Prosperity I don't like that. They're going to be a major thorn in our side very soon. 
and to a degree I'm just sort of waiting to see if ooh, let's go ahead and start building up another military factory and I'm just kind of waiting to see like to get the next focus done 30 30 40, 40 let's do that oh actually you know what finish repairing all that stuff too that's fine for now revive the China program a few more days there'll be no new China um Bharati economy, could you use some volunteers? I mean, you did help us. You were the only country that actually helped us. Uh, do we have any planes, actually? I know I've been making a very small amount of planes. Oh my goodness. We can start doing this and potentially grinding some XP. I could help out these guys over here, but honestly, it's so small. The infrastructure probably isn't very good. And they probably have a ton of divisions here fighting the war anyways. I don't want to clog up supply. And I can use my planes to maybe, maybe get more air XP. Maybe. And I want to integrate more provinces, but I don't want to spend that much political power. We have focuses that will lower the cost of integrating provinces. But I uh, I could say I could do one right now, but... Hmm. Research speed. I wish I had more attack and defense for artillery. Cost isn't bad. Air Force stuff, nice. Very nice. Aircraft designer is going to be important to do. Oh, the fall of Rome! How will two Sicilies recover from this? Ooh, ship designer. Small ship. That's not bad. Cruiser manufacturer. Not bad. And finally, it took up until almost 1939 to kill off the Ukraine. And the Russians are still in a civil war. And the Ottomans are still trying to kill off Persia. And the Socialist Republic of Italy is looking pretty darn good right now. Oh my goodness. But... This is... This is... This is disappointing, man. I thought they were supposed to be the industrial heartland of America. CSA, come on. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised here. And you know what? It's a good thing they declared war on me. So that I don't declare a war on them. So the J Japanese hopefully don't get involved. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We helped... Well, we took out the Beijing government with the help of the Fengxian government, which who hates us now for some reason. But anyways... Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we shall get rid of more imperialists and faux Chinese leaders. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.